Hey guys, we will be talking about Australian Plum and Vitamin C Serum Moisturizer from Bellora, Paris. I don't want to waste your time, so I'll have a timestamp here and let's just jump into the first thing that is aesthetic of the product. look is pretty common in this brand glass jar very hard and frosty frosty finish yeah i think we have gold lead very thick glass actually once you remove the gold cap has an another white lead i actually prefer seal packaging for a tub or any skincare product in tub like with this you know teen sheet wrapper on top of it which would kind of like prevent any air circulation but yeah this is what you get here it has this peachy shade it looks almost like to whipped mango cream but smells somewhat like those kids medicine not very appealing i'm assuming it is the smell of uh, this australian plum as their name suggests i think that this one but i've never seen that fruit so i'm not sure i'm personally not a fan of the smell in here but it's not unbearable either it's not bad it's just not a smell i expected because their scrub smells like heaven in a jar dude i can't tell you how much i love that body scrub from this brand i'll link that video review video down below for you guys if you want to try that out let's move on Australian Plum Vitamin C Serum Moisturizer blurs in perfection and reduces the appearance of pore while leaving the skin looking balanced and nourished. It contains Australian Plum as the main ingredient which has the highest level and is the richest source of natural vitamin C. Australian Plum is high in antioxidant that works to detoxify and flush out toxins plus the sweet citrusy smells good enough to eat. Well the last thing from the claim is not true i did not like the smell oh let's just move on to my experience of the product i have been applying it daily for past week now so far i don't have any reaction or anything to it it looks like it's safe for sensitive skin and in all honesty i use a lot of vitamin c products so my skin is kind of like used to those ingredients and can bear even higher dosage but i feel like even if this is your first time using this product it will suit you as the ingredient isn't very concentrated it is in a moisturizing form so it's supposed to be quite mild i apply it on my face and neck after cleansing so sometimes i layer it after my hyaluronic serum make sure not to use any you know chemical exfoliator with it and i always follow this one up with a sunscreen as vitamin c in it will increase the intensity of sun damage if you were to go out in a sun whenever you're wearing anything anything with vitamin c make sure to wear sunscreen afterwards don't forget that nowadays i'm enjoying that z block zinc oxide sunscreen it's really good you guys should check it out it's it's really good sunscreen this moisturizer is actually very lightweight remember i used to love that one from good wipes gel moisturizer from good wipes yeah so that's how this one feels this one feels a bit more luxurious than the good wipes one i mean obviously this one disappears pretty quickly the only drawback i can find is that it might not be enough for dry beauties it's not that heavy so maybe don't invest in it during winter if you have dry skin but i find it to be working just fine for me and it retails for 600 rupees it's retails for 599 so 600 rupees so it's still in like mid range not too expensive and you get 50 ml of the product It brightens the skin, leaving it glowing and dewy, reduces the appearance of blemishes, repairs and restores the skin texture, leaves the face soft, radiant, spotlessly clean. It is non-comedogenic, no sulfate, no paraben. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. It makes me so happy that you made it till the end of this video. I'll be sure to also link other products review from this brand in description box. Don't go on buying without looking it up here. Search for the product name with the word Rutuma. Chances are you'll probably find review done by me. I have more videos like this as you can see on the screen. You can 
pick either so all my reviews are unbiased and honest it goes without saying of course you know that by now right don't you so subscribe bye